The most beautiful story of the village mouse and the city mouse. There were two mice of companions. One of them resided in the town or the open country and fields and harvests, and the other resided in the city where the processing plants and stores and studios. On one occasion the two companions met and sat every single one of them discussing his life. It was fascinating for the two of them. In the event that the mouse who lives in the town chose to welcome a companion to see life in the wide open among the fields, and to find out in regard to its lifestyle and taste its food. The mouse who lives in the city concurred immediately, as the thought was extremely loved, and to be sure the two companions consented to meet on the day next one. The following morning the city mouse went to the wide open ere his companion resides in the town among the fields, the town mouse advised him to accompany him to eat. They went to the field where there was a ton of corn lying on the ground, as well as certain roots and grain, and the flavor of food was blended in with mud. The city mouse would rather avoid it by any stretch of the imagination. The city mouse told the town mouse, Old buddy, you are so poor, how would you call this food? Hear me come into town tomorrow first thing, and I'll make you taste genuine food. The town mouse consented to offer his companion the town mouse immediately. The following morning, the town mouse went to his companion the city mouse. The two companions met and went to one of the extremely enormous spots, which the city mouse called a product store, and behind this shop was a store that was our objective. So the mice entered the store, and it was astounding and noteworthy for the town mouse where he stood observing huge amounts of food, sacks brimming with flour and oats. Pots of dried leafy foods, honey in it. The town mouse felt hungry and was near eating the tasty and heavenly food before him, and when the two companions were going towards the food, they felt that the store entryway was opening. And somebody was entering inside, so they rushed to stow away. In a little opening in the divider the two companions stowed away, the opening was thin and dim. At the point when the individual emerged from the store and the two companions attempted to go out to eat someone else entered, and it stayed like this the entire day. One individual entered and one more came out, it was dull, and the environment quieted down, so the mice went out to eat tasty and heavenly food. After the mice wrapped up eating, the city mouse asked the town mouse his thought process. The mouse answered, old buddy, without a doubt, here the food is flavorful and scrumptious, however you eat it, while you are apprehensive, and there is a lot of risk around you. Notwithstanding your delightful and heavenly food, yet I like to eat my straightforward supper of roots and grains in security in the field in the town. And the town mouse chose to get back to the town. Yet before leaving he encouraged his companion to constantly focus on well-being.